Hello, in this tutorial I will explain the basics of scripting in HPL3. HPL3 uses a modified version of AngelScript, a programming language that is very similar to C++ or C Sharp. For this tutorial I will assume that you are at least somewhat familiar with a programming language and know how to use concepts such as if statements, loops and functions. If you are not, then there are plenty of good tutorials online that explain the basics. Even then, you still might find the basics to be fairly intuitive. I will be using CodeLite, but by using a different IDE you will notice a few minor differences. I will link the tutorials for setting up CodeLite or Visual Studio Code for SOMA in the description. I also set up a very basic map for scripting which I will be using in this tutorial. After creating and saving a map, the map's script file is found in the .hps file. Let's open CodeLite, re-import if needed, and look at the files. Firstly, we have some lines of code that are used to include script files that will be referenced by our map. You will usually need to know where the functions you use are located. If you use a function and don't include the file it's located in, you will get an error when trying to open the map. To find where a function is declared, you can use Ctrl Shift F and search for the function's name. Here we can also place global variables, but usually you won't have to. Changes to variables placed here will remain in effect throughout the whole game, even if you reload. In order to use safe specific global variables, you have to use a set of predefined functions. The other more useful things you can place here are enumerations. They are used for terminal states. Next we have the map class. Here is where most of the scripting will take place. You can notice that in the default generated HPS file there is a lot of excessive comment lines used for organizing code. Let's delete them for now and see the actual code that's left. A better way of doing this is by changing the default HPS file in the editor folder in SOMAS directory. Now all that's left are a set of inherited functions that will be automatically called at different times by the map. First, let's separate them in their own region. In CodeLite, to start marking a region, you need to type in this. And to end it, you must type this. Now let's name the region Default Functions. In VSC, you can use hashtag region and hashtag end region. This creates a collapsible region of code. This will be very handy if your file becomes thousands of lines long. Let's take a look at the onStart function. This function is called after the map is loaded. We can add a debug message when the map starts by using clux underline add debug message. The message has to be a text string parameter for the function. Now let's try that out in the dev mode batch we set up. Make sure to have the show debug messages checkbox enabled and then press F5 to reload. You can see the messages being displayed. We can also declare our own functions that we can use anytime, but usually we will want to generate and copy functions that are called by specific entities such as buttons, levers or trigger areas. Now, let's say that we want to use a function that belongs to a script file that's not included, like depth underline audio underline fear underline high intensity. We can start typing that out and use control space to activate code completion. If this doesn't happen to you, you likely forgot to change some settings in code light from the tutorials. When filling in parameters for the function, we can ignore those who already have a default value declared. So in this case, we can simply not declare any parameter. 
Now let's save and try to reload the map. We'll see an error message saying that it doesn't recognize the script. It is useful to have the dev mode on all the time when scripting because otherwise it will crash when trying to load. You still get the error message but it can get annoying to have to relaunch the program every time you do that. Now let's go to CodeLight and use Ctrl Shift F to search for the function and see where it is declared. It is helper custom depth audio.hps. Let's include that file in our script and reload the game again. Now the audio effect plays as soon as we load the map. So these are the basics of Soma scripting. There's not much you can do yet with only this. In my next tutorial I will show you how to use in-game triggers to call functions, which is where things will get more interesting.